parents have been pinning me down with all sorts of questions about what to say to their preschool or school-aged child who wants to have their ears pierced. Fortunately, we're not talking about elephants, but children. Let me see if I can push through with some information on this topic. First, while there is no set age for piercing a child's ears, my recommendation is to wait until your child is old enough to ask for the piercing and mature enough to want to care for their pierced ears, which means cleaning them until they're healed so they don't run a risk of infection. Obviously, if you're doing this in your baby because you think your baby is less likely to remember the discomfort, mild though it is, or because you had it done as a baby, you as a parent are going to be responsible for that ear care. Try to wait until your baby is at least six months old so that their immune system is well developed at the time of the piercing to reduce the risk of infection occurring as a complication of the procedure. Parental permission is required for your child under age 18 to have any piercing procedure done. But my advice is not to only be comfortable with your child or teen getting it done, but also to be just as comfortable with where it is to be done. Proper piercing in a medical office or at a store at the mall requires germ-free precautions, including good hand washing, using antibacterial hand gel, use of sterile gloves, and cleaning of the ears with an alcohol pad prior to piercing. Whoever does this should also offer some method of reducing the pain by either using a numbing cream on the ear or the application of ice in a washcloth or plastic wrap to numb the pain receptors on the ear at the site of the piercing. Complications of an ear piercing, as reported in one study, can occur as much as 30% of the time, even when done well, and can include bleeding, pain, and more rarely infection at the site, which can then spread through the blood to other parts of the body. As to your child or teenager who wants their ears pierced, please make sure they've been vaccinated to hepatitis B. The piercing needle should be sterilized and used only once, and the earrings also germ-free prior to placement if they're being placed with a piercing gun. A first set of earrings should probably have some gold or stainless steel posts since these metals are less likely to cause infection and swelling due to an allergic reaction. And once pierced, earrings should stay in. That earring should stay in for four to six weeks, but be rotated daily until the ear has healed from the procedure or the hole will simply close up. If an earring appears stuck or the earlobe swells, turns red, oozes pus, or is very tender, please talk to your child's doctor who can help treat what is likely an infection. Hopefully, tips like this will stick with you should you be considering having your infant, child's, or teen's ears pierced. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.